Cutting costs has been part of the survival strategy of likely every motor carrier in North America during the recession. And with economic recovery still at a fragile stage, trucking fleet executives remain vigilant about their costs. But are there areas that should be spared the knife, perhaps because they cut into service performance or damage staff morale beyond repair? We put that question to three of the industry's most respected executives during a workshop hosted in partnership with Dan Goodwill and Associates. Peter DiTecco, head of Arm Road Transport, cautioned against taking shortcuts on maintenance. You better be running the same maintenance program that you had before. I think it's hard enough going to sleep knowing you've done the best you can in heart business, but I certainly wouldn't be able to sleep if I knew I wasn't maintaining the equipment. Wages make up a large percentage of carrier costs, and wage cuts have been an unfortunate reality for many over the past year. But Doug Monroe, head of Maritime Ontario Freight Lines, advises against it. Here's why. As we know, most of the driver wages and owner-operator wages are already pretty well rock bottom. They've never been very high. And to, to go into those areas and cut costs in those areas, I think it's just a recipe for disaster in the long run. And it really, really ruins the environment of you know, the, the morale in the company. Dan Einwechter of Challenger Motor Freight believes that to know where to cut, you first have to have a firm grip on your input costs. Hear what he has to say. I can tell you that no rock went unturned in analyzing those input costs uh, to make sure that we're, we're maximizing. In fact, uh, we are now looking for adding another business analyst to our operation just to help the, the uh, different departments drill down. We're looking at profitability uh, analyzers, a couple different options there. So we have to constantly look for new, better, cheaper ways to provide the same or better outcome.